Got him. Not as big as a bait. That's a spotted. That's a spotted, ba that's that's a spotted a spot. bass. Can you believe that? What's he doing? Golly. What's he doing up here? He lost. He wasn't coming off. <laughs> yeah, if he'd been a five pounder. Got him? Broad. Got potential in another year or two. Yeah, them shad that are flopping are just out there having a good old time. They ain't acting nervous or nothing. Got him. He just kind of come up and sucked it, didn't he? Yeah, he kind of rolled over on it. About the size of the bait, that's why. You don't have to get bigger than that. I'd be happy with one like that right now. Cause I ain't got one in the boat. I've got one bite. Got a big tail. Well, I tell you what, the ingredients are here for the big fish to be here. We just gotta. There he is. That hit like a big one too. That one hit like a big one. Well, he ain't huge, but he's really not even dip worthy. But boy, he hit it hard. I mean, he slammed it. Absolutely slammed it. Well, guys, we're back on my favorite place to fish this time of the year. We've already caught a few this morning. Don't have any big fish yet. Hopefully the big ones will move up. And stay tuned. him <laughs> he's not that big got my reel handle caught up in my shirt there you go oh he's heavy that might that might keep that and broad now that one Hit pretty much right on the. As soon as it hit the water, pretty much. Popped it out of some grass. And there it was. Hit. I think when it does, we're gonna know it. No. Didn't even feel him hit. I just pulled down and he was. That one will keep, I believe. Boy, if he. 
if he was to try to flop, I would be in trouble. If that was a bass, it was a bigger one. It, it, it splashed like a gar. No, it ain't no gar. That's a better one. That might be... That might need a dip net there. I, it acted like a gar had yeah, hit. Did you see? Sitting on top of the water? Yeah, it was just sitting there. He's kind of just quit now, ain't he? No, I think you're down in the grass a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a that's a decent one. That one's that one's dip worthy. There you go, buddy. He showed himself, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, he's been eating. Sure has. Yeah. Yeah, he showed himself and. Uh, it's sitting right on top of the water and he hit like a gar. Well, yeah, he had, I, I thought he had done caught a gar. I did that last time. Yes, sir. Just a little bit. Got him? You set the hook like that was a good one. Hey, oh, what do you kept? Oh, I got him too. Dang, we almost had a double right there. I don't know. I could. I was looking. He might have been. I don't know. No, I, no. I thought you meant yours. No, I knew mine wasn't. I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought you meant yours. Yeah, yours was bigger than this one. I don't know how much bigger. Healthy. Just not big. We almost had a double there. You, you set the hook good because I heard you. <laughs> there he is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think he, oh, he ain't huge. But I believe he will keep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll dip this one since we're since it's a crankbait. Thank you, sir. Boy, that one's healthy. Turn it. That's a decent one. There he is. Oh, he come off, dead gummit. <laughs> he tried to show himself right there, didn't he? There's something out there they're holding on. That's the same area. There he is. don't know I feel him shaking his head like a good one that's why I slid over here right there another keeper dang it can't keep up with the Try to get it in front of the sun, that way it'll show up. Nothing big, but definitely a keeper. I 
I don't know what it is about that spot, but it's a good spot. <laughs> That's three casts in a row. Yes, sir. Look at him. Look at him peeing. I've made about four casts in that one spot and got a bite every every cast. That one's been on a coil tag. That's why I don't like coil tags. See there? At least the puncture ones anyway. There he is. Little one. He hit like a little one too. I mean, I felt him shaking. It shook like a bluegill before I set the hook. Got one? Oh, that's a decent one. Need to dip net. But we got a big mouth, big body. But he's got that. Hey. Boy, he's definitely a post spawner. That one's skinny. Well, we've had a limit on this spot right here. It's about time. There he is. That's that same spot. There's another fish with it, ain't it? Or is it? You got back to that same spot and we've caught two. Actually, we've caught, hung three. I'm gonna just, I may lose him, but I'm gonna. Another 15 incher. I could have swore it looked like there was another fish behind it, but I guess that was that was my fish jumping up. It might have been just mine. There he is. Barely hooked. He's not even a keeper, I don't think. Huh? Probably another cookie cutter 15 incher. I believe that. There is a magic spot out there that I'm hitting. Boy, if I was you, I'd have done been digging in that box for a, one of these crankbaits. <laughs> like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Sometimes on these crankbaits, you're going to think I'm crazy. But you can almost feel it before they hit it sometimes. They'll get in behind it and track it. And you, and you can tell that the, the bait's running different. It's like they're drafting behind it and it and it changes the water flow. The other side of the point has got a little bit more. It's more of a flat taper. There he is. I don't think he's that big. He might, he'll probably keep. I won't. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now that's 
probably a... Bleeding. Yeah, I know. That's probably a 14 and a half. Got him. That might be a good one right there. They're just way out there. They're a little easy, not spiking on one. And that old that old rod makes them look. Tiny fish. I ain't making fun of you fish though. I'd like to have caught him. Got him? Yes, you got him. I'm gonna have to quit saying that. I've noticed I say that a lot. He's bigger than I thought. He ain't huge, but he is bigger. Just when I was fixing to you getting the good out of them, ain't you? This rod makes them all feel big. Huh? This rod makes them all feel big in the Yep. Ground. Yep. Yep. There he is. Nah. I popped it out of that eel grass and she said, thank you. Buddy, that one wasn't coming off. That's what you call pegged right there. Well, buddy, but you, you had her. There he is. Boy, he hit it good. This might be a decent one here. I ain't seen him yet. Oh yeah. That's a decent one. That one hit it good. That one's broad. <clears throat> yeah, that one's healthy there. Nice one. All right, there he is. Oh, no, I got him. Boy, look at him go. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Have I got two? Have I got two? Or have I just got a big fish? Because something is weird. Got him foul hooked. He's a decent fish, but he's foul hooked. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Three and a half pounder. He was fighting weird, and right there was why, because I caught him under the chin. Yes, sir. Nice, healthy, gunnerable bass. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, that was a different, that was a different day. That was like the first, there he is. That one hit like a good one too. I don't know. Uh, he's a keeper, but he's, he's not huge. I don't even know if he's worth, well, he hit it. No. Boy, he's heavy. 
Thank you, sir. Well, that one hit it like a freight train, like he meant business. Good and healthy Gunnersville bass. We are having a ball this morning. Let's let him go. Shout out to another famous YouTuber. Well guys, that wraps up another day here on Gunnersville Lake. Uh, we stayed a little bit longer than we probably should have. Boat traffic has gotten terrible. Uh, we kept trying to hit a few more spots and catch a decent fish to end the video out on and we never did. We caught, we caught a few little ones. We probably caught around 30 fish all day long, uh, had a ball. Uh, we had had periods where they bit pretty quick, and then we had periods where we went, you know, an hour, hour and a half without bites. Uh, we're going to go load this thing up, call it a day. I appreciate you guys tuning in. appreciate you subscribing. If you had not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hope to see you guys on the water, and we'll do it again next time. See ya.